Hello, we are celebrating here at the Edwards Aquifer Authority in our cave studio. I'm Nikki Young. And I'm a Marga Gonzalez. We are celebrating the end of our first season of our debut show, Aquifer Insight. Aquifer Insight is designed to bring the aquifer to you, our aquifer ambassadors. And speaking of ambassadors, we're celebrating and grateful for 10,000 visitors at our Education Outreach Center and that we gave out 3,000 Texas native plants at our third free Root in Texas plant pickup event. Speaking of third, we celebrated our third annual Edwards Aquifer Authority Summit where we invited constituents, stakeholders, and city officials to learn about what the Edwards Aquifer is and what our agency does to manage, enhance, and protect the aquifer. Our aquifer scientists visited with GSA Connects attendees and shared their aquifer sustainability research in San Antonio, Texas this past October. All this and more to celebrate on this episode of Aquifer Insight. So you heard us say that we're celebrating 10,000 visitors at our Education Outreach Center. So if you've been, come back. And if you've never been, here's how you can learn how to book your free visit. The Education Outreach Center is a special place where people can come together to learn about the vital resource that is fresh water. It's crazy that the Edwards Aquifer is right underneath us and I didn't even know. The actual Edwards Aquifer is a little bit inaccessible. It exists underneath us, it's groundwater. So since the Edwards Aquifer is underground in all these pores and spaces and caves, kind of hard to get to. But you can come out to the Education Outreach Center and you can learn all about it. We've taken care of everything for you. All of our STEAM lessons are teaks align and complement what we're learning in the classroom. So whether it's living and non-living things or let's say animal adaptations, we got you covered. Over the years of teaching, I've had the privilege of watching the aha moments that students have when they figure out and realize that everything is connected through water. You should definitely come. It's a really unique and fun experience. Like you can go outside, do a little scavenger hunt. The entire experience is free. We don't charge for anything that we do at the Education Outreach Center. So to make a visit, all you have to do is go online to our website, eaaeoc.org, and click on schedule a visit follow all of the prompts, and then we'll work one-on-one -on -one with you to get your customized field trip for your students. I hope that when people leave the EOC that we have an appreciation of the water in the Edwards Aquifer so that we can conserve it for education and also for the future generations. As we continue the celebration here on Aquifer Insight, we want to show you how we gave out 3,000 free Texas native plants at our Rooted in Texas plant pickup. Check it out.
agency took things to new heights this past October with our Edwards Aquifer Authority Summit held right here in San Antonio, Texas. We hosted over 200 visitors, so why don't you sit back with us and learn about this signature event. We really want to thank you though for being here in person and we really ask, take advantage of an opportunity that is in front of you of seeing the Edwards Aquifer's education outreach uh, and again, putting your hands on it and seeing exactly how everything works out here. We're gonna be exploring this year's theme today, managing, enhancing, and protecting your Edwards Aquifer through science, through service, through education. Today's program will be taking us through a journey of science, of service, of education. The three pillars that really define the Edwards Aquifer Authority's work. We'll hear about the progress that's being made to protect and understand this remarkable resource. Also how efforts are shaping the future of this region, a region that is growing at just a relentless rate. And so the majority of water that enters, all of the water that recharges the Edwards enters a system along the recharge zone. And these rivers and the flow of these rivers, um, as they drain the contributing zone to the rainfall, are the biggest contributors to recharge. I think over time, uh, the acceptance of what we do, our work, has certainly grown and developed. And we've uh, done that, I think, it was mentioned earlier, to try to shift our focus, not just for regulation, but to service. How can we take a mission of manage, enhance, and protect? Let's talk a tree word you know, symbolism, manage, enhance, protect, uh, service, science, and education. And then a few years ago, we, we introduced a couple of other, an, another set of three, three words, inclusion, uh, imagination, and innovation. And so today really is the inclusion part of that work. This past October, our EAA scientists went to GSA Connects, held right here in San Antonio, Texas. This event is hosted by the Geological Society of America, which brings together geoscientists from across the world. Learn more about aquifer sustainability research from our agency in this quick video. An overview of our research and modeling work here at the Edwards Aquifer Authority essentially involves two main fronts. Primarily, we focus on a couple of things. One, trying to understand the sustainability of the aquifer, not only now, but for future generations, but also to develop data and information that can be used to guide and inform uh, resource and policy decision-making uh, into the future. So from a sustainability standpoint, we want to focus on two fronts. One, quantity of water, how effective the aquifer system might be in maintaining its quantity of, that's available for people to use. And then on the water quality front, how do we identify those areas that are most susceptible to contamination? And then we combine all that with a range of data collection activities that all feed into our modeling efforts try to understand one, our conceptualization of the system, but also how we might represent the system for now and into the future. All that goes together to form the basis of our research program right now. So the methods we're using to study land management encompass all components of the water budget. We're looking at starting from rainfall, the input, to all the outputs evaporation, transpiration, runoff, infiltration. So we have a set of experimentation and data collection for each individual component of that budget. The collaboration of scientists, policymakers, and private citizens is critical in conservation. These problems related to uncertainty, related to climate change, growing population, urban sprawl, land development, are not just simple issues that one group can tackle. All these folks need to work together. Here in Texas, more than 95% of the land is privately owned. We need the help of private landowners and private citizens to extend conservation practices across the region, whether that be through conservation easements, through irrigation suspension strategies, through aquifer storage and recovery leasing, or through land management. We need all of these programs to work together to combat the uncertainty we may face in the future publicly accessible databases uh, to utilize and uh, collaborate with others. It's a total team effort at the Edwards Aquifer Authority, and that's something that we're really proud of. 
All right, y'all, well, we're so thankful to you all for watching us throughout this whole year and following us on the journey of learning about the aquifer from the facts that we've shared and the people that you've met and the staff and the behind the scenes things that you've seen. And we're gonna see you next year. And speaking of next year, if you wanna pick up one of our free calendars, make sure you go to our Education Outreach Center. We had an amazing Rooted in Saving Water photo contest and we celebrate all those people who shared their stories and how they can serve water through their lens. You can pick up your free calendar. Just visit eaaeoc.org to find out our hours of operation. We'll see you next year. I'm Nikki Young. And I'm Margaret Gonzalez. This is Aquifer Insight. Bye, y'all. We hope you enjoy Aquifer Insight and that you'll come back time and time again. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to do so.